What's next for Caitlin Clark after Iowa? WNBA draft projection, roster, salary, and more. Caitlin Clark has been synonymous with college basketball for the past couple seasons. She's etched her name into just about every corner of the record books in her four-year career at Iowa. But her run as the queen of college hoops came to an end Sunday with a loss to South Carolina in the championship game. With Iowa's March Madness run over, Clark's time with the Hawkeyes is done. She announced via social media that she'd be entering the 2024 WNBA draft following the season. While Clark won't be lighting up the scoreboard in a Hawkeyes jersey, her fame and popularity won't dwindle upon reaching the pros. She'll take on a new venture, likely remaining as one of the most watched women's basketball players. More, WNBA Draft Decision Tracker 2024. Looking ahead for Clark, there's a clear idea of where she'll be drafted, how she'll fit on her new team and what her rookie salary will look like. Here's a breakdown of what's next for Clark as she leaves the NCAA for the WNBA. With Clark likely heading to Indiana as the number one pick in the 2024 WNBA draft, she'll join forces with 2023 number one pick Aliyah Boston. The two top selections will form a guard forward duo that Indiana hopes will bring a resurgence to its team. The Fever also have Kelsey Mitchell and N.A. Alyssa Smith, who averaged 18.2 and 15.5 points per game, respectively. Smith also posted 9.2 rebounds per game. Boston averaged 14.5 points, 8.4 rebounds, 1.3 steals and 1.3 blocks per game. Mitchell and Erica Wheeler shared the backcourt in 2023, so Clark will likely slide into that starting five alongside the two guards, Boston and Smith. Caitlin Clark WNBA Salary Clark is the highest paid women's college basketball player with a nil valuation of $3.1 million. It also ranks as the second highest among all female amateur athletes and fourth highest overall. All this money comes from endorsement deals that will carry over with Clark as she enters the WNBA. Iowa isn't permitted to pay her a salary, so she is missing out on that while in college. The WNBA rookie salaries differ based on where a player is drafted. Clark is projected as the number one pick, and it would be a major shock if she slipped past the fever. Even so, the top four picks have the same base salary numbers, so she'd have to fall to number five for her contract to differ. Clark would presumably sign the expected four-year rookie deal with a team option on the final year. Her rookie season salary would be $76,535, and she'd make $338,056 across four seasons, per spot track.